There is an arrest tonight in connection to a Walgreens robbery that left one man dead. A Port Charlotte woman is in custody today and police say she's linked to the case. SNN Local News 6 reporter Tom Lloyd spoke with the woman's family who believes she's innocent. All she did was get a call from his friend saying he was in trouble. That Zachary was in trouble and she showed up at the Walgreens. Angelo Gabrellini is in shock that his mother, 46-year-old Kristen Gabrellini, was arrested by Sarasota police in connection to an attempted robbery at the Walgreens on US-41 in Sarasota. The gunman, 22-year-old Zachary Mathis, lived with the Gabrellini's family for one month. He was shot and killed by police when he wouldn't put his gun down Tuesday. Angelo says that his mother told him she had no idea that Mathis stole his father's gun, and it wasn't until she got home that she found out that Mathis was dead. She got home. She Well, I told her Zach was dead, and she started crying. She didn't know what was going on. But her story changed when Sarasota police picked her up at her home on Tamron Street in Port Charlotte the night of the attempted robbery. During questioning, police said Gabrellini admitted to being involved with the crime. She admitted to the fact that uh, she was the transportation and that, uh, that she was aware of the gun and that she was aware of his involvement in previous pharmacy robberies. Police have charged Gabrellini with felony murder. Under a state statute, a person can be charged with that in crimes like burglary and robberies when someone dies, even if they don't pull the trigger themselves. As for the Gabrellini family, they don't know what's next for their mother. What are you guys going to do now? Uh, sit here and hope everything goes okay. We can't really do anything. From Port Charlotte, Tom Lloyd, SNN Local News 6. The Charlotte County Sheriff's Office is looking into the possibility that Mathis may have been involved in a CVS pharmacy robbery in Port Charlotte last weekend.